They don't give a f The review is gonna tell you everything you need to know. Trap you and put you in a 12 month lease where you can't get out before you sign the lease. Before. It, it irritates me, honestly. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Jasmine and today's video is going to be apartment hunting 101. Um, I think I have about like 10 or 11 tips that I'd like to share with you guys um, just because I've had three apartments and I'm hunting for another one right now. So I feel like I have some knowledge or some things I can share with you right now. Obviously I'm not a pro, but I feel like some of these things would be very helpful. So yeah, let's just get right into it because I don't know how long this is going to be. Okay, so to begin your process of apartment hunting, I use the website apartments.com um, and I feel like that's the easiest way in any area that you can find most of the apartments in your area. So you just put in your city, how many bedrooms you want, the max and min, the price you want to pay for rent, and if you have any roommates, any pets and all that stuff. So there's a lot of filters you can filter through. Next is reviews. I didn't figure out that this was a huge, huge, like, I don't have any earrings in. <gasps> Oh no! Did I just put in earrings? Yes, I did. Whatever. Like this is a huge, huge, huge thing that you need to consider when you are apartment hunting online. Because, no, just period. Because look, the review is going to tell you everything you need to know. These are just regular ass people that are just saying everything and their experience and just mouthing off. Because obviously when you ask like, oh, when's the last time you had this replaced or how long is maintenance? If you ask that to the actual company or uh, property, they're not going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. But now them reviews, they will tell you everything you need to know. So, like, for example, I found some nice, really, really, really nice apartments, like, in a nice area, everything. I read the reviews. They talking about there's roaches everywhere, bed bugs infested, like... It's just terrible. People are getting ran over. I'm like, they're like, yeah, somebody got ran over in front of me. I was like, oh, I don't want to live there. So next I have on my list is how to save or like how much you should save. So it honestly depends on how much your rent is. I just want to tell you the cost that you should keep in mind when you are saving. So obviously they make you pay uh, first month's rent. Sometimes they make you pay rent and a half. Like it just depends. So first month's rent, you should already have. Um, application fees are usually like $50. Sometimes they have them waived. This is have administration fees, that's about $100. This list is all situational, so just make sure like you ask them. Everything that I'm listing, make sure you ask them if they are charging that fee and if they are obviously safe for it. So administration fee, it says $100. There's a redecorating fee. It says $250 to $750 based on your credit. Sometimes there's holding fees. So it says here there's a holding fee that will be taken off the total of the moving costs. If you have pets, they have a one-time fee. It's usually always $300 for a one-time pet fee. And then it varies of like $30 to $50, $25 for rent every month. There's also other fees. So utilities. You need to, this is another tip. You need to ask them specifically if your utilities, if there's some included, or you have to pay for them directly to like the company. Cable, gas, water, electric, all that stuff. So some places make you just do a flat rate of let's just say $45, $50. And then if you go over that rate, then obviously you have to pay more. So if I use so much water one month, more than $50 that they included, then I'll have to pay that extra amount, you know? But some places, you're on your own. Like, <laughs> and this place that I went to, they said you're on your own. They said we ain't got shit for you, but your rent. Like, that's all, <laughs> that's all they said. Two other fees that you need to also keep in mind when you're actually moving in is renter's insurance. Mine is only $30, $33, I think. That's nothing big but you need to make sure you have renters insurance um and then also cable those are some other extra fees that you don't realize until you have to set everything up yourself <laughs> like some places also have a trash fee like they either take out your trash valet trash or you just gotta pay trash fee um carport rental i have to pay for 25 dollars monthly rent like why do i have to pay to park like come on now so there's just extra hidden fees that they sometimes tell you, sometimes don't. So just make sure you ask. Also pest control, that's the cheapest 
everywhere. I think it's always $3. So $3 pest control as well. I'll have everything listed here. So when you're actually touring a place or you found a place that you like, always tour first. Do not go based off the pictures. Like I said, they are scamming, lying, everything. Like they don't give a fuck. They just want to sell you and trap you and put you in a 12 month lease where you can't get out <laughs> no matter what okay like it's it's scary but like it is what it is they're a business at the end of the day you know those pictures will deceive you it's basically like 90 percent of apartment complexes catfish you and it's really it, it irritates me honestly <laughs> so just make sure you are viewing um or touring don't ever sign a lease like don't ever sign a lease if you've never been to the actual property, if you never met anybody there, if you never spoke to anybody, do not do that. You need to see it. Also, this is something that some people don't do, but I was taught to. View your specific unit. If they tell you they have units available right now, say, I want to see my unit. I'm, I want to see the unit that I will be moving into. You need to sit there and inspect the whole entire place. You need to see what is broken. You need to see what is be fixed. You need to ask every single question. Does the dishwasher work? Does the stove work? You need to turn that on. You need to turn on the water. You need to flush the toilet. You need to do everything, okay? For you sign the lease. Before. Everything will be fixed. Everything will be perfect when you move in, okay? Another tip is to ask for deals. This is just like, sometimes they will advertise it, sometimes they don't, but if you are about to, you got everything situated and figured out, you're about to sign your lease, ask them if they have any deals going on. Ask them if you can neg negotiate something like, oh, I know your partnering company or like another place you own has this amount of money off can i get this amount of money off try to negotiate oh like the worst thing you say is no you're still about to sign it but you can at least try you know plan ahead i think this is very important because you don't know what can happen in a month in a week in a day let's be real <laughs> like in a day <laughs> so i don't move out of this apartment until may it is currently january I'm apartment hunting. I already found my apartment. Like, I really like this apartment that I viewed today. Obviously, I'm still gonna look, I'm still gonna like do everything, but I'm set on that one right now. I don't have to stress about it when April comes. I know where I'm moving. I know I'm my lease is already signed. We're good, smooth transition. So you won't be stressed out. Me finding this apartment, the only reason why I was rushing and uh, stress and panic is because I got a job and I only moved here because I have I got a job. So I was waiting on that uh, acceptance letter saying I got the job in order for me to actually move here, you know? So I feel like that's situational, but if you can, plan ahead. My mom always says to try to move in the summertime or go to an apartment complex in the summertime because that's when everybody's outside. Nobody's outside in the wintertime. You can't see if your neighbors are loud. You can't see how life is actually is or if the pool is always full and stuff like that. Like, go visit in the summertime if you can. Um, amenities. I don't really care about amenities. I don't care about the clubhouse and stuff. I care about pool um because i like swimming but other than that tennis courts if you have a dog a dog park would be helpful and i also want to talk about non-negotiables and what mine are mine recently after living here my neck is red don't mind that after living here i want hardwood floors i want updated um updated appliances I want modern everything. I was looking for a washer and dryer inside the unit, but like I, I will be okay if it's not in there. I just want an updated unit. That's what I'm looking at right now. And then last but not least, I would say take pictures and videos of every place you tour. Even if it is like shitty or whatever, still take a picture and video of it just in case you want to like look back on it. Just show like your friends and family and get their opinion on it too. Those are my main tips. Let me know if you want another video or any questions that you have, leave them down below. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Like I said, I'm not a pro. This is just what I learned literally from the three um, apartments that I had. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I had to figure out. And I'm thankful that I have my sisters and my parents to like help me out or whatever. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.